Fan and Logic Board Removal Without removing the logic board, the only fan you can remove is the right one. Right Fan Removal To remove the right fan, there is one T8 screw that has to be removed. Once the fan is loose, you then need to unplug the fan cable from the logic board. And now the logic board removal. Near the heat sink, at the top left hand side there is an arrow pointing to a T8 screw that has to be removed. And another T8 screw at the left hand side of the heat sink. Once that screw is removed, you can then see that the heat sink is loose. Now go around the edge of the logic board and remove all of the extra cables that are plugged in. This video has been sped up for your convenience. There are six more T8 screws that have to be removed. One of the screws is hidden behind this flex cable. And another screw is to the right of the top heat sink. Now behind the casing at the bottom, there is an ambient light sensor that you have to lift up on to remove it. Once the ambient light sensor has been removed, then you can take the logic board out. Before the logic board can be completely removed, there are some cables on the back side that have to be removed first. Once the cables have been removed, then the logic board is free. And now for the left fan removal. To remove the left fan, there are two T8 screws that have to be removed. Once the two screws have been removed, the fan is then loose. However, there are some wires that need to be released from the clamp on the side of the fan. The center fan removal. There is only one T8 screw that has to be removed to take out the center fan. 